A fast moving fire destroys a northeast side home. The calls came in around 930 this morning reporting smoke coming from the house in the 6500 block of Cary Lane. Ken's Fies Vanessa Croy has more on a neighbor who stepped in to help. When fire crews got here, they say they saw flames shooting from the roof of this home. And right now you can see what's left behind. Those powerful flames devouring the home from the inside out. Stephanie Marrera says she heard her mother-in-law scream. And when she stepped outside, she saw flames shooting from the roof of the house next door. I had looked towards the neighbor because my car was parked in my driveway. And that's when I saw the flames and I heard my mother-in-law in the backyard screaming fire. Oh my gosh. Marrero says she quickly grabbed a water hose and did what she could to stop the flames from devouring her home. And it was just straight heat, like you were standing in the desert. And her other concern, the homeowner's car was still in the driveway. So my immediate thought is she's elderly and she lives alone. Come in and be on Fire officials say they got a call for the smell of smoke in the area around 930 this morning. That smell of smoke suddenly transforming into a raging fire. Fire crews went into the home to fight the flames, but they say the fire was so intense they had to pull out. It's obviously the heat and then the heat affects the structure and then the structure becomes untenable and then you're worried about collapses. Firefighters say they were able to get the fire under control after 20 minutes. You know what she needs they tell us the woman who lives here is out of town, but she did have cats inside the house, and sadly, firefighters weren't able to save them. Marrero says at the time she was just leaving for work and thankful she was there to help keep her family safe. This could have been a completely different outcome, you know. Uh, this home is a total loss. We've seen firefighters going in and out of the home this morning, trying to save whatever valuables they could for this family. Arson investigators are on scene, gathering what evidence they can to try to figure out how this fire started. Reporting on the Northeast side, Vanessa Croy, Ken's 5.